brought to you by Express Care Health and Skin Center. Get in, get out, get better. All right, everybody, welcome back to Healthy Living Tuesday. Now, if you have lived on Guam for an extended period of time, the word dialysis probably is something that you're unfortunately very familiar with. Dr. Yitka Lam from Express Care is here, and we are going to talk about this. Uh, Dr. Lam, dialysis is something near and dear to my family's heart. Um, there is a pattern of diabetes in my family. Uh, certain people have been on dialysis. But for the people that out there that may have know of the term but may not know exactly what it's all about, what is dialysis and what function does it serve? Okay. So, you know, the function of our kidneys in the body, the primary function is to filter our blood and remove waste products as well as excess fluid. That's why we urinate. We take extra urine out of the out of fluid out of the body through our urine. And if you s can smell your urine, you'll know that there's products in there that are waste. So when your kidneys fail because of uh, diabetes or oh. uh, oh. high blood pressure or lupus or any number of other diseases, heart failure can cause kidney disease. Basically, when your kidneys become non-functioning, you have no way to remove the fluid and you have no way to remove the waste. And without that function, you die. So, you know, they invented dialysis, which is a life-saving uh, technology. And there are a couple of types of dialysis perhaps we'll talk about. Uh, basically, what it does is it takes the kidney function outside of the body you're hooked up to a machine or to a, a product that you use at home, and your entire blood volume is filtered through 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 a filter, mm -hmm. and so the extra wastes are removed, and so is the fluid. Mm -hmm. Now there are two t categories and two different types of uh, dialysis. There's hemodialysis, which is what you talked about yes. in like uh, replacing the blood system, and yes. then there's also peritoneal dialysis, which I think is dramatically the lesser known one. Yes. Uh, talk about that one. So um, peritoneal di dialysis is entirely different from hemo. As I just mentioned, in hemodialysis, you're filtering the blood. In uh, peritoneal dialysis, you're putting a fluid into the peritone peritoneal cavity, which is basically the whole abdomen. Um, you fill that up with fluid, and then it comes out the other side. And basically, the membranes in the um, intestines will, through osmosis, take the extra fluid out and the waste products out and the, the good one back in. Mm. Now, when my father started peritoneal dialysis a couple years ago, I mean, you know, the engineer in me, I was just looking at it, and it's basically a system that works off of pressure and gravity. I mean, yeah. it's a fascinating system yeah. when, you, when you think about it's it. No moving parts, no electricity. No, it's very, very simple. It's a giant bag of fluid. Mm -hmm. It goes into your peritoneal cavity, gets gets washed. It basically is like a wash. Mm -hmm. It washes through, and then it, it goes out the other side with, with the waste products through there. And you can do this at home. Many people are not aware of that. Um, not everybody is a candidate for that because it requires great care in it, keeping everything sterile and keeping everything very clean, of course, you're doing this at home. But it is something that you can do while you sleep. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk about the frequency with which you do either peritoneal or hemodialysis. Yeah. Um, peritoneal is done multiple times per day. Uh, hemodialysis is done a few times per week. But hemo can actually, it, it has an effect on, on your energy and your... Um, and does. your constitution. So peritoneal dialysis is, is just pretty well tolerated. People can kind of, um, it, it, it's just not as invasive as having, as doing hemodialysis. As you mentioned, hemodialysis is usually three times a week. Uh, if you think about it, your kidneys are working 24-7 without you even thinking about it, right? Um, in a dialysis patient, the kidneys are not functioning, so every other day they, they sort of have a a, a, a session where the where the blood is cleaned, but it does take a lot out of the patient. It it makes them tired. Um, it affects their mood. Um, it can it can it can really wipe them out. Now, once a patient is told that he or she will have to go on dialysis, um, obviously it's a life altering experience because so much of your day is dedicated towards that. Because it's, it it can be maybe an hour and a half in one shot. I've seen some people knock it out in you know, like 35 minutes a pop. Other people, like when you do hemodialysis at one of the renal centers like right next to us here in Harmon, um, sometimes it's like four or five hours yeah. at a time. Hemodialysis is usually very long, yeah. at least three hours. You can't rush that process. You yeah. cannot. You, you, it, it's a little bit of blood at a time going through the filter. It depends how big you are, how much blood you have, how quickly they're filtering it, how much waste there is in that, in that blood. Uh, you cannot rush it. It's going to take the time that it takes. Mm -hmm. Now, because it's so transformative to a patient's lifestyle, most patients would say, okay, how long do I have to do this? In which cases they say, you know, it's for the rest of your life. And is there any way I can get out, I can get off it? Is there any procedure or any alternative way? Well, the, the alternative is kidney transplant, okay, mm -hmm. really. Um, occasionally people go on dialysis for only a short period of time. For example, a trauma patient that has had t um, t 
terrible damage, but they're they're on their road to recovery. They don't have any underlying diseases. They just they, they just have to be on dialysis for a short time while their kidneys recover. Certain other diseases can be short term, but on our island, most of our diseases are long term diseases like high high blood pressure and diabetes. So those people are generally committed to dialysis forever. Uh, kidney transplant is an option for, for some people. Unfortunately, it's not something that we have here on island. It's not covered by insurance. It's something that people have to go off island for. But, but there have been some, you know, that go to uh, either the Philippines or the mainland for, for transplantation. Okay, thanks so much, Dr. And please stay tuned because we'll be talking a lot more about dialysis and how you can understand exactly what it is on Healthy Living Tuesday continues.